and we are here in London today with a very handsome Justin oh, Chambers talking all things Grey's Anatomy for ABC Studios. Now, Justin, welcome. Thank you. You are doing a European tour. We are. We uh, we just left Monaco. We're now in London and we're going to go to Brussels after. How was Monaco, Monte Carlo? Bit of a special place. Uh, incredible. Good for people watching now. Very good for people watching. <laughs> Boats, caviar, champagne, the prince. We got to meet the prince. It was really exciting. Uh, and I got to go with a, a bunch of people from ABC, so... And really now fun. we bring you to London and we jam you into this room That's when it's right. beautiful outside, not quite Monte Carlo, we right. apologise. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> well, we've been receiving lots of questions from huge fans on mm. Facebook and, um, well, they want to know all about you. So we're going to start off with a question um, from Henna. And Henna's question is, what's it like to be on a show that is still fresh and still captivating viewers after 10 years, 10 oh, seasons? Oh, well, Hannah, I can tell you it's, it's been an exciting ride. It's been 10 years of uh, shootings and deaths and sex and all the things that Grey's offers people. Uh, it's been very exciting and rewarding, and, and we're just so excited that people are still watching. Uh, we always felt that it was kind of like lightning in a bottle. And uh, Shonda Rhimes just created something that really spoke with people and uh, they've uh, invested a lot of their time with these characters and it's very exciting. So when you first got the, the call for the job in the first season, did you ever think it was going to go on for this, this longevity? No, I had no idea. I mean, the show was pretty successful at the very beginning, so uh, we knew that people responded to it really yeah. quickly, but uh, you know, you figure three, five years maybe at the most. I'm the one actor on set you can ask, but always says, two more years, two more years, <laughs> and it just keeps going and going, so I'm going to keep saying that. And <laughs> that's the line. Yeah, yeah. that's the line, and, and a lot of us just signed on for two more years, so hopefully that'll, that'll Amazing. work out. Amazing. Yeah. So when you found out that you were going to be doing this medical show, were you not worried about learning lines? Because as an actor, it's your job to learn lines, yeah. but in a medical show, they're big words. Yeah, at times, <laughs> at times they can be big words, and it's funny because they can be three or four syllable words, and you can memorize them on their own, because we get a sheet, and it's how to enunciate it and the yeah. definition of what it means but when you have to say it in the middle of a sentence or a monologue it's a little different I so would that, yeah you can flub those up <laughs> you know and then you have the urgency on top of that where you're you know it's a medical drama and you're like you know stat and all that um but after a while you know you you, you do it for 10 years you kind of get used to it so, so do you kind of in your head now kind of think you're a little bit of a doctor not at all. <laughs> Definitely not. Are you uh, sure? I wouldn't go to me if I was a doctor. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay, let's go to another question. Um, this one is from Lynn, and she said, what's been your favorite storyline on Grey so far, whether with you or without you in it? Uh, well, I'm an actor, so I can only think about myself. Of course. Um, and Alex <laughs> Karev. Um, I would say this past season we explored the relationship with Alex's father, yeah. who was a very strained relationship. They hadn't seen each other in 15, 20 years, I think. And uh, to do to work with James Remar, who played my father, was incredible. It was an incredible experience, and I'm very um, I was very happy to explore that storyline. And I think there'll be more coming up. So that was another question actually yep. um, from somebody else who I'll find the name in a minute. Um, okay, from Charlotte. Are there things about Alex's backstory or character that haven't been mentioned yet that we're going to find out? Is there more se there sort of skeletons in the closet right. due to come out? Not that I know of. Um, you know, but anything's possible on this show, Charlotte. I mean, they, they uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> so we'll find out. He might have who kids. Knows? Yeah, he might have kids somewhere. Who knows? Okay, question from Maria. What is your favorite thing about going to work on the Grey's Anatomy set every day? Uh, a check, first and foremost. <laughs> gotta be honest. honest, I gotta be honest. I'm really, really grateful to have a job that I can go to. And we've been at the same studio for 10 years. It's 20 minutes from my house, uh, you know, to, to wear scrubs every day. Imagine, you know, a lot of other shows, you gotta wear uniforms or, or uh, you know, dress in different clothes, go to different locations. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sure that's fun, but. I kind of like knowing where I'm going, and we call them pajamas. We just, you know, slip into those. You can put on some weight, lose some weight. No one can tell the – well, usually they can't tell the – Sounds like the dream yeah, job. Yeah, it is. It's the dream <laughs> job. And um, I love the people I work with. And, you know, as, as exciting as it, as it is for the viewers, it's still mm -hmm. exciting for us as actors because we don't know what's happening next. So when we sit down at a read-through and we're, like, surprised at uh, the changes and the twists and turns that they do on Grey's Anatomy. And you're um, a, well known as a family man, yeah. but you've been playing the character Alex for 10 years now, and he's a bit of a Jack the Lad. Have you found any bits of Alex creeping in? I mean, you're sort of... Do you... um, if, if, if anything, it would be working with children a lot. I mean, now my kids are a little older, but I can remember when they were young and toddlers, and Alex being in pediatrics, he gets yeah. to work with kids, so I feel usually pretty comfortable around kids. And 
Uh, but, you know, I think I would have a better bedside manner than Alex does. And I think as a person, I'm a little more uh, humble than Alex. Uh, he doesn't like to comply to rules, does he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> he questions rules. And he, he likes to get into situations. Or doesn't like to. He just does get into situations and tries to figure out how to get out of them. But um, Alex is fun to watch, I think. But no, no comparisons in your life no, whatsoever, I don't apart think from so. the way you look. Well, and apart from going to a hospital every day. Just uh, my hospital is a set, but uh, that's about it. Okay, good. Good to know. Yeah. Right. This is a bit of an odd question, but it's from a chap called Berku. And hey, it says, Berku. out of all the characters who have died, who do you miss the most? The first to come to mind, it would be... Uh, <laughs> somebody's coughing. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kyler Lee, um, I think... Uh, You're a doctor. You're not meant to laugh at people <laughs> I'm coughing. supposed to be saving your life, right? <laughs> Help the woman! <laughs> Get some water. Um, I guess um, on the show who I miss... Uh, the, uh, I miss everybody that's come and gone because yeah. you do spend a lot of time with these people. But um, the first that popped in my mind is Kyler Lee because she, you know, her character died, but... Uh, to me, she was a precious person, a wonderful actor, and uh, I was always um, enjoyed working with her, yeah. Okay, let's go to some of these questions that are coming in the live feed now. Um, what's your favorite, oh, oh sorry, have you got another favorite Shonda show, Shonda Rhimes show? Um, I, 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 yeah, I, I remember Private Practice, that yeah. was great. Um, you know, Kate Walsh came from our show, and yeah. I think I crossed over on there once or twice. Um, I enjoyed watching that show and Scandal, obviously. I think you guys will meet Bellamy and, and Mr. Perry, the wonderful group of actors on that show to watch. Um, that's about it. I mean, okay. yeah. Right, another question here we've got. Henna says, what is the most funny moment you've had whilst filming season 10? Uh, while filming season 10? You know, Alex had a lot of issues going on, especially with the family, so yeah. there wasn't a lot of ha-ha Okay, moments. forget Series 10, yeah. the whole, uh, so, whole history. Uh, I was saying earlier how I, I brought uh, Christopher Lloyd to set, who played Doc Brown in, in Back yeah. to the Future, and he put on a white lab coat, and he went around with his hair all out, and <laughs> with the crazy faces, and went around set, and it just so happened that Mary Lou Henner, who worked with him on Taxi, was a guest star. And we put a mask on him, and he, he went up to her in the middle of her scene, and she just stared at him for oh, like five genius. minutes, and then he brought it down. She <laughs> was all surprised. That's the first thing I could think of. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a that's pretty like, good Doc Brown on set. That's pretty cool. That's a really good yeah. one. I don't, that's going to be pretty tough to top, yeah. to be honest. So uh, I think we'll leave that one there. Okay, um, a question from a lady called Helena. She says, are you good friends with the other actors um, when you're not playing the roles? And film the show. Do you hang out when you're not working? Yeah, well, hey, Helena. Yeah, I mean, again, we spend a lot of time together. We're on set a lot of hours, mm -hmm. and for so many years, we've seen a lot get married and have kids and gone to, you know, family events, and we'll have dinners once in a while. Um, but then, you know, when you spend that much time with people, you kind of want time to yourself. So yeah. it's, you know, now that all of us have families, we kind of do our thing with our families on the side. But in the very beginning, especially, we were We'd kind of do tours like this, yeah. and uh, you know, but uh, being on set, it's a lot. Of, that's a lot of time. You, you need enough. a bit of downtime. I think we all know this <laughs> the people we work with. Back off. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you could play any other characters on Grey's Anatomy, who would you be? Hmm, McDreamy. What? Who wouldn't want to be McDreamy? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I might need a hair transplant and, you know, lose a few LBs, but, uh, you know, he's the cool guy. He's the guy that saves the day. That'd be fun. Okay. But just one episode. I like Alex, but one episode. We'll, we'll, we'll swap that. Yeah. We'll see if we will have a word with the powers that be. See if we can organise <laughs> that for you. Um, a question from Natasha: Which episode for you was especially difficult to play? Uh, well, Natasha, I would say uh, this year the stuff with Alex's father. Mm -hmm. That was definitely you know for him to make amends with his dad and to you know we've always been bringing the subject up over the last ten seasons. They finally did it. They finally brought it up and. Um, you know, it was kind of heart-wrenching because mm -hmm. this is somebody who treated them awfully and the family, they didn't treat them very well and for him to sort of come to terms with that and to express how he felt and to get to act that, that was kind of, kind of uh, rewarding but um, also very challenging, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Well, I think I know the answer to this question but Kay says, what made you want to star in the show? Uh, I'll check. <laughs> Again, <laughs> um, we've all got bills to pay. We Kate. all got bills to pay. You know, as an actor, you know, you want to work, and and if somebody's interested in you, you want to kind of, yeah. you know, unless it's complete crap, you know, you don't want to do it. But, you know, I've I've always felt that my work I've been at the mercy of. I, you know, somebody says, hey, we're interested, read it, and just follow along. I just didn't know that it would be going into season eleven, which is 
a and blessing. Still as loved as and season still one. as loved. People, you know, really care about these characters. So um, uh, why not want to be an actor in a show like that? I asked you earlier about do you think you're a doctor? Yep. Have you ever been out somewhere and people have asked you medical questions? No. No? Not really. I think a lot of people don't want to talk to me because he's such a jerk. The character. <laughs> so they rarely do. And if they do, it's just for a photo. And I say, yeah, no problem. You yeah. think you're a bad guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's not. I mean, That's he's a blessing, okay though. I'm not complaining. You get private time. That's right. <laughs> if you're like really nice to everybody, you wouldn't even be able to go to the shops. And in LA, where I live, it's like everyone's in the business. So they're not that intrigued because you're an actor. They don't ask a lot. It's usually at airports or when I'm outside of LA. Okay. A question from Mikel. He says, who is the funniest person on set and do you have a partner in crime? Oh, uh, Miguel, well, let me think. The funniest person, um, everyone's definitely got a sense of humor. Um, Dempsey's pretty funny. Um, but who I laugh with, I would say, the most, and as my partner in crime would be Capshaw. You know, we have jokes about the, the you know, the mentally challenged doctor being Alex Karov and the one-legged lesbian being Arizona Robbins. And, and we want to do an off offspring of a show where we're both cops. What's the show going to be called? A Slow Justice. <laughs> of course you've already planned it. <laughs> Maybe on ABC next fall. No. Watch this place. I know. <laughs> right. Um, have you learned a lot about medicine playing the character, which you said? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, kind of. Mm, no, no, okay. <laughs> really. All right, no. Once, I mean, my thing is with learning all the medical jargon is you learn it, and then it, it, for me it works best to get it down, and it goes out the, the other year, the, the next day. I don't and, know how you do it. Honestly, some uh, of these big, long dialogues is just, yeah. like, mind-blowing. It's difficult for doctors who spend years learning it, actually. I think scandal looks a little more difficult because they speak even quicker. They're like this. Um, we pull it off. I mean, you, you do it for years, and that's what we do. So You definitely do pull it off. It's working. Yeah, <laughs> Something's God. working. Okay. Um, what has been your favorite ever episode of Grey's Anatomy? This mm, is a question from Teresa. Yeah, my favorite episode. I would probably say The Bomb. Remember The mm, Bomb, the beginning yeah. of the show? There's so many different great episodes. I Again, I really enjoyed this uh, story arc with, with Alex and his father this past season. I really enjoyed playing that. Okay. Um, Selena would like to know what made you want to become an actor in the first place? Um, well, I mean, uh, I guess... You're going to say money again, aren't you? Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not going <laughs> to say money. Because there's a feeling that you get when something just feels right. And, and, and it feels, you know, an acting class, you know, trying it out and getting up in front of people and... And getting out all this, I mean, I'm, I'm repressed as a person, so to be able to express myself and that, you know, with someone else's words mm -hmm. uh, was is very uh, liberating. And uh, to get paid on top of that is even more liberating. But, uh, you know, it's to, to explore different lives and different characters and to, um, you know, to inspire people. You know, our show we've done for 10 years now, of people coming up to us and saying how we've affected their lives and... Some of them are motivated to become doctors, and uh, you know it's emotional, and it's it's it taps in with people's hearts, and to be part of that, to be somewhat of a, a, a let's say an emotional doctor, a healer of that is uh, it's a great feeling, and so um, I think that most importantly is why I wanted to be an actor is to to get to play these characters. Would you encourage your children to become actors if they wanted to follow that road? I encourage my children to do whatever makes them happy, as long as they do it quietly. Or is that just me as a parent? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, they're, they're really into music, so that, that's nothing quiet about that. Oh, gosh. My no. house is loud. <laughs> You're enjoying this break. This tour's a break. Yeah, this is a bit of a break. <laughs> From the madness. Okay, we've got another question here. Um, I think you've answered that one. Oh, what is your favorite food? My favorite? Mexican. Mexican? Yeah. I like Mexican food. Yes, that was from Iman Imanazi. I'm really sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Okay. Um, how do you define Alex and Arizona's friendship? That's uh, a question from Hannah. Yeah, yeah, Hannah. Well, Hannah, I would say there's something very... Uh, they're almost like siblings, you know. But if anything, Arizona is obviously a, a more well-versed as a doctor. So she's sort of guiding him. You know, there's a bit of an internship there. Um, but I think that... Um, She's she's taught him a lot, and she's given him not just about being a doctor, but about being a, a man, a human. Um, she's uh, I think I think the relationship's really inspiring to watch. I just like these little random questions that have been thrown in. Justin, do you like to sing? Uh, no, I mean not professionally, <laughs> but in the shower, sure, no no problem. Okay, what what do you rock in the shower? Oh God, a little Lionel Richie, a little Beck, a little oh God, who knows? Depends I was thinking you're a bit more like a. 
Bon Jovi, Guns N' Roses type. <laughs> no. I got to meet him once, though. That was kind of cool. Not Bon Jovi, the, the guy that used to be Guns N' Roses, Axel. Axel, Axel Rose. Rose. Yeah. I used cool. to have a crush on him. God knows why. Good. Do not know why. Okay, um, question from Wa Wanila. How do you feel about Sandra leaving the show? Wanila, um, I feel pretty sad about that. You know, um, Sandra's been a huge part of why she, you know, the show is such mm -hmm. a success. Um, she's such a delight to be around. Um, she's a, an amazing spirit. Um, she has such a, a grasp of her character and she sets such a good work precedent. You know, she really, I've never seen the woman exhausted. I've never seen her complain. I've always seen her hit her mark, know her lines. And um, to, to not have that next year is going to be felt. I really feel that. But she's got a huge career ahead of her, and yeah. um, I'm excited to see what she does next. And I think we'll all we'll all be grateful that she's doing something. How does it feel for you being part of the original cast? You know, old. But um, <laughs> aside from feeling that, um, great. I mean, how many people in this business can say they've been on something for so long and um, still not many without it being stale? Because it's still so fresh, yeah. and people love it, and it's always exciting. It's always exciting, and I mean, you know, come on, a job is a job. You have your down days, but Honestly, in general, we really do enjoy what we do, and um, it's like a family. Yeah. In fact, I, whenever I've gone on other uh, sets to do small roles and something, I feel even this. It just it's you feel a little nervous, but whereas these are the people I, I've seen their faces for so many years yeah. every day, I feel very comfortable there. Do you think when p new people come into the show because you were part of the original cast, do they get nervous around you because you know the probably? So well? I I know that we have so many guest stars, especially mm -hmm. that come on just for that episode, and and I do make an effort to welcome them. All of us do, but I I feel that it's you know sort of like a diplomat to mm -hmm. welcome you know them coming in and knowing how you know grueling it can be not knowing these people and to to, to you know and, and they're not simple scenes they're usually emotionally charged so yeah, they have course. to come in you don't know them and they're crying f in five minutes you know their characters are crying you know to welcome them and to you know oh, roll out the, the carpet for them and do you or do you sometimes be a little bit mean to play a joke <laughs> yeah uh no i don't i mean not that i can remember but um no that's I, not what I, he says i'm joking oh yeah <laughs> no i mean actors you know we're very sensitive people but you know you want to you definitely want them to feel comfortable and yeah. and and, and the, the only way that they can access those feelings and 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 to be on point with their characters is to um have a bit of comfort mm. Right, we've got a question now. This is this is a bit of a question, to be fair. This is from Selena. What was the best moment in your entire life? In my entire life? Life. Life. Besides this? <laughs> um, I would say uh, uh, the birth of my kids. I mean, I really, um, I kind of like them. You know, they make me happy. They, kids uh, do. Kids are yeah, good. Yeah, kids are kind of cool, yeah. right? Especially when you're not the one having to get them out. Yeah, well. It's always oof, the men's favorite I, bit, that yeah, bit. It's never yeah. the woman's favorite bit. No, oh, I, I don't envy that. But, um, <laughs> definitely uh, uh, having having kids has made me very happy in, in my life. It's given me um, a mission and a drive and uh, somewhat uh, a focal point. Excellent. How, uh, this is from Ishan, how is it like um, having Dr. Burke back on the show? Um, hey, you know, do what you got to do. He's a, he's a great actor, and you know people wanted to really see that story come, you know, tied up, and um, they did, and he did a great job. So kudos to to Isaiah. Okay, this is from Amanda. Have you ever had a hard time getting out of character after years of playing Alex? I think we've answered that really, but yeah, um, a hard time. No, not really. No, no. Right. Um, <laughs> me. This is from Murma. Who is better, McDreamy or McSexy? Who's McSexy? I think it's McSteamy, no? She means. Oh, McSteamy? Hey, they both they are both uh, bring something to the table, you know? Who's McSexy? Is this somebody we... Maybe McSteamy? You're talking about... Maybe there's a new person that we don't know coming in. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it's Jesse. Jesse Williams? Is maybe it's you, maybe you're McSexy. It's, it's everything but McDonald's. Everyone's got a <laughs> Mick name, and I don't know who they are by now, but, you know, um, again... I think the success of the show is owed to the fact that it's diverse and there are so many different characters mm -hmm. that the audience can relate to and you know they've got their favorites and this guy's got his favorite you know so I think um, they're all great to Is your there any anything that your character hasn't kind of explored or parts of sides of your character that have not been explored that you'd like to that you may be you can I think see uh, you know having a stable relationship there's always some big drama and yeah. I know you got to have that on these shows but you know even with with Derek and Meredith, they've been together, 
but they've still had their issues yeah. like everyone in life. And I think for him to have some more stability in his personal life and to sort of explore Stop that. Stop being Jack the Lad. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. <laughs> but to, to be more mature and to sort of deal with those issues in a relationship, monogamous relationship, uh, that should be interesting to explore. Okay, um, a question from Lynn Ferguson. Gray has had many cameo appearances. Have you ever been starstruck by anyone who's appeared on the show? Yeah, uh, God, uh, Lee Majors, the, the six million dollar man. <laughs> he was my patient. I'm like looking across. I'm like I'm acting with the six million dollar man, and uh, that was kind of cool. Um, Doris Roberts from Everybody Loves Raymond. She was my patient. She was a hoot, man. She had she was funny. Um, who else? Off the top of my head, I can't think, but um, it's always exciting. But I get just as excited. You'll, you'll, you'll have people come in that you've never seen or heard of before, and they're just incredible, incredible Do you to watch. feel that energy of people when, when you can tell that that person's going to be a star? Um, yeah, you know, I just, no, I, to answer that question, no. I'm always, not unsurprised, they, they've already passed some sort of test to yeah. be on the show, and they're always interesting, and, you know, I, there's no guidebook to why somebody's a star and why somebody isn't, but... It is kind of cool to see people come and who've guest starred, and then you see them in something else, and you're like, "Oh my God, that, they were a patient, and they, they have I these careers." Him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I stitched them up, but um, yeah, it, it's it's that's one of the more more interesting things about working on a show that has so many guest stars. Okay, this question is very deep now. Um, okay, are you ready for it? Okay, let me show you. Do you prefer navy scrubs or the light blue scrubs? Mm, well, the dark, because it's, it doesn't show up. <laughs> Thanks as much as the blue, the lighter blue. Thank you for the question, Amanda. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. Um, if you could have anybody guest star on the show, dead or alive, who would it be? Question from Jess Louise. Oh, dead or alive? Well, crap. Let's see. There's so many actors. Uh, Spencer Tracy would be great. Can you picture him in scrubs and a white lab coat? No? Um, <laughs> hmm, let's see. I don't know. I said, but now we've had the $6 million man, why not Lindsay Wagner, the bionic woman? That'd be great. That would be, yeah, that would be the be natural awesome. progression, yeah. surely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see. How do you see Alex developing professionally next season? Um, well, again, I think, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but mm. he has a conflict between that role on the board that Christina has left for him and also going into private practice. And um, it's either about the prestige or the money, and so that's going to be his big conflict, and I don't know what they're going to do. We with don't that. like hearing private practice because we think that you're going to go away. And well, maybe they'll do a spinoff. You never. Know. Well, they already did private practice, <laughs> yeah. not to call it. Well, but maybe. now it's just going somewhere else. Yeah, so, no, so, no, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, Get so. back here. Um, how was it working with Demi Lovato? Uh, great, nice girl. Yeah. Yeah, sweet, young, happy. What aspects of Joe and Alex's relationship do you find most interesting to play? And that's from Shannon. Mm, I think, uh, again, um, them coming from similar backgrounds. She, she's from a broken home. He's from a broken home. I like the fact that there's no airs put on between them. They kind of lay it out on the table and still call him on his crap and vice versa. So I think that they're able to communicate on layman's terms and just be there for each other. I think that's the best part of the, you know, the relationship to explore. Okay, this is um, from Malik Murma. What was the most embarrassing moment of your life? Of my life? Life. I'm not talking work, we're talking uh, life. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, uh, God, every day is an embarrassment <laughs> when I leave the house, but I'm trying to think. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Anyone and, got a story? Are Somebody? you an embarrassing dad? Oh, I'm sure I am. I get goofy. Sometimes I'll do these little, you know, we'll be in the grocery line and I'll grab an arm and act like, you know, aggressive with them just for a joke between <laughs> us and them. And, uh, you know, just to see if I can get a rise out of people. But uh, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm sure I just, I act kind of silly with them. Um, you put me on the spot there. Who asked that question? That question was from Malik Murma. Well, listen, I'm not going to admit the most embarrassing moments on Why don't on you morning. have the most embarrassing moment now? Uh, I am. Do something. Because I can't find <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're going to have the final question here. Oh, too bad. And this is going to be, what should, let's pick a good one. Ooh. Well, maybe we can squeeze two in. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Oh, man. They can always tell a lot about a person by the favorite movie. I love movie. all the Godfather. Well, the third one, not so much. The first two were amazing. Godfather trilogy. Um, what else? Uh, it's not Bring It On? Huh? Bring mean It On? Mean Girls? <laughs> no. No, that's not happening. Um, oh, man. Uh, there's so many good movies. What did I What did I see recently? I like these superhero films. They're great. Spider Man, that English kid. I love her. He's love great. Him. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, yeah, on the waterfront, Marlon Brando, the classics. I like all those. Uh, You're a classic type of guy. Nah, I don't know if I could say that, but sure, I'll go with it. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you so thank much you for so today. Much. It's I been a lovely your... chat. And thank you to everybody at home for sending in your questions. We've enjoyed them thoroughly. And we're going now, because we are in London. It would be rude if we didn't go for a beer. So I'm going to take him for a beer now. He doesn't yeah. know that yet. Well, and I've said it on telly now, I, so you can't say no. I, I'm there. Let's, Let's go. go for a beer. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <There> you <go. laughs>